Charlotte Sears and welcome to today's video. So as you can tell from the title and the cinematic, we are making a black tail prairie dog enclosure. This is a, one of my favourite enclosures I've done by far. I really enjoyed um, making it. Usually I struggle a little bit and have a creative block in the middle of building but this seemed to go fairly smooth and it was done within three days so for me that's an accomplishment but anyway as I was building for the prairie dog I found some facts and different things about them because I wasn't too sure what they were I didn't know I'd never seen a prairie dog before and not until we had the North American pack did I look into them a bit more and I was um I was kind of shocked that they're, they're actually from uh, the Rocky Mountains um, and up to Chinchilla, Chinchuawa. <laughs> Chinchilla's an animal. But anyway, in Mexico, so I'm sorry I butchered that. I am not good at reading names, nor am I good at pronouncing them, so yes. <laughs> Prairie dogs um, traditionally have a dry flat sparse vegetated grasslands so I incorporated that into the enclosure so I did a mix of grass and a mix of a dry sandy area so that's what I'm doing here and I'm adding some I'm painting some rock onto the ledge so with this habitat I've noticed that I did a lot of terrain painting and it just seems to put realism into the build I will be doing that in the future so yeah, if, if you're looking for tips or anything to have more realistic or, you know, uh, increase the amount of realism in your builds, then I would really do concentrate on painting your terrain. I put mud and sand and, you know, um, areas where they would be digging. So I made these tubes, which will be going onto the workshop. So where they can um, go in there and depending on what you want to do with them, you can put actual bedding in there and they actually burrow in there and sleep, which is a good idea. So prairie dogs, they make tunnel tunnels underground. They primarily dig underground like near cats and they sleep underground in this tube system. So I, I thought that was really neat and interesting. So over here, if you can see, like my, my rock work is all like connected together into a, a, bl a blueprint is because it makes things a lot faster and I very much encourage people to do that. So if you like a certain type of rock and you want to rotate them and make them look realistic, I'd say put it into a blueprint and save it. It saves so much time and effort. <laughs> I figured out. So over here I'm just making different areas of brick and I did some and I was like, nope, let's just colour them first and then increase it. So it goes all the way way around. And if you can see in the centre of the middle is the dome that the gas will go into. It's not a dome right now, it's a rectangle because I wanted to know the size and I forgot I completely forgot. I'm I'm so silly that that piece actually comes in an oval piece. So I was like, okay. Yeah, let's do that because it just looks weird. So that's what it is and that's what I'm doing right now. So I yonked it out and I was like, all right, bye bye. And I put this in and it gave that desired effect. So I'm making a custom fence, primarily out of wood and the North, the North African pack wood, which is amazing. Like It's one of my favorite pieces of wood. And this is the Australian um, wood that you get. All you have to do is type in the wood into the construction menu and you'll get all different types and stuff if you want to obviously have this aesthetic stuff. I um, put in the glass which is panelled, I forgot what it was actually called but it just means that the guests can see the animals but the animals can't see the guests and I thought that it would be a good idea to make it, break it up instead of doing brick all around so it's more dynamic and interesting and so that the guests can see them a little bit more because they can only look over the brick and stuff and you don't want to stress the prairie dogs out either you know in um real life you you want to give them some privacy and stuff i'm adding some metal to each side of the fence so that they look like they are connected to one another and they're not just standing 
on their own. I also will put that onto the workshop. So right now I made some breeze blocks wood, uh, wood, breeze blocks brick, and I added the metal. Oh, I forgot what it's called. It's the, it's the cube. It's a. I think it's called metal plate. I think that's what it is, it's a plate. But anyway, I um, moved that in and it gave this really nice texture. I also put that onto the workshop um, and the enclosure. So a lot of things are going on the workshop this time round, which I'm pleased about. Usually not much goes up and everything. It's just, uh, but I think some of these things will um, maybe help for like your builds or something that you might want you might want to use this and not be bothered to like make it or do the color scheme or anything like that so yeah right now we're making a small shed prairie dogs will initially sleep underground like i said they will spend all day out outside and then if it rain the temperature changes rains thunderstorms they will go down back into the ground or when it gets to dusk they're going to the ground so i i read that up so um, they don't necessarily need shelter. They they, they make it. Um, but I made I made this small shelter just because you know if a, if they need animals to go in there over night time because they don't want animals running around or loose in their enclosure while they're cl close to you. I can realistically see that happening where they have a place to put them and contain them. So um, that's this is what this building is going to be. I uh, made a small door and stuff so that the animals can move in and out. So that's what's going on right now. I'm using the, corrug the corrugated uh, wool piece that was part of the Australian DLC, which is also my favorite. I do wish that it was flexi optioned. I'd love to be able to change the color of the corrugated um, wool because there's a lot of buildings and recreations that use that pieces of book book the camera went really crazy there I'm so sorry <laughs> so I'm adding vents here and I'm adding a roof ventilator I did have trouble with the roof I was gonna do a butterfly roof and it didn't look too right so I, I just continued uh, with a flat roof right now I made a palette before I actually went into the building which I had also another tip I'm full of tips today <laughs> um if you want a nice aesthetic do make a palette before you're going and build something you can do that by using loads of um, RPG and um, color samples online and everything that you can type into um, on on the game and stuff so right here is a custom kind of flooring that I'm making just using the temple pieces and edges and stuff to you know make something fun and pretty and this, these are also all the colours part of the palette and um, there is a custom billboard sign that I made that's already on the workshop it's flexi colour if you can see it right there it's it <laughs> shakes giraffes right now but I did make a custom billboard um, for the enclosure I, I will also put that on the Google Drive so I have a lot of things to give you this time round which is better than nothing usually I'm a lazy butt and I don't bother to put them on there so I'm going to do that going round and continuing to do that to make sure that it looks really nice and I'm actually pleased with this this is one of my favourites so far, so let's hope that I just keep progressing from here because I'm learning. I am definitely a beginner, beginner builder. I am not advanced at all. <laughs> so here we are at the real time section of the video. This is where I show you the overall enclosure some bits you might have not seen in the speed build or the cinematic so this is the point of this section i did make the custom billboards as we just passed if you need a link to an editor a free editor uh, called canva.com then just drop me a message in the description well not in the description but in the comment section and i will give you that link i made a custom area here so it's where they go inside for shelter and an area, a fake door to where the guests can't get in so it was just a realistic touch that I put into it 
I put loads of props inside so that it looks like it's lifted, I guess, and useful. So yeah, this, this is the terrain work that I did. So it goes up into like a hill and then it, it edges down softly. It's only a small incline for the animals. So it, it's it's really good for them and to get some exercise and whatnot. So yeah, the, the enclosure was quite compact and small and, and I just really did like it. So thank you for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. Remember I upload weekly. If you like this video, please drop a thumbs up. Bye for now.